And speaking of state track champions, let's go to the Division Four state meet. That's where Natalie Wandre, seen on your screen right now, won the discus and shot put. Natalie is a senior at Inland Lake Schools. We're told Natalie's winning throw for shot put was a new personal record and school record. More softball to talk about and more of a lot of sports to be honest with you. Inland Lakes senior Natalie Wandry just wrapping up her four year career where she dominated at Inland Lakes playing volleyball, basketball, softball and running track and she just capped it off by winning two state titles in the shot put and discus. We caught up with Natalie in our latest Jimmy John Sports Corner to gauge just how phenomenal of a career she's had and what she'll look back on the most. The following segment is sponsored by Jimmy John's of Traverse City. How was that keeping up? being a four sport athlete while also balancing school and uh, being a teenager. It was stressful, but it's, it's also fun. I don't do very well when I have nothing to do. So always having something to do kind of makes it easier. You probably had a hard time picking which one was your favorite. Now you'll at least get to continue two of the four at the next level. I don't actually have a favorite. I couldn't pick. So I actually drew out of a hat which ones I was going to try and get recruited by a college for. And I pulled out softball and basketball, but then they were like, we could have a conversation about volleyball, but basketball would be too hard because they're too close for the, um, like the end season for basketball is the beginning of the regular season for softball. So mm -hmm. I know it's hard to break it down to one, but what, what is going to be maybe your favorite memory of your high school athletic career? State titles, I could not wipe my smile off my face all day. What are you going to miss most about uh, competing at Inland Lakes? Probably the teammates. It was a great experience playing with them and going to class with them. What would be your advice to someone who's on the fence about doing, you know, a sport every season or in some case, multiple sports? Every sport has a different like atmosphere. Like you feel different in each one. It definitely builds strong relationships and it's a challenge, but I think it's worth it. That's going to do it for me here in East Lansing, Harrison Beebe for Up North Live Sports. High school sports done for the 2022-23 school year. We thought it was a great time to take inventory of what we've seen over the past 10 months. And one name that jumped off the page was Inland Lakes' Natalie Wandry. 9 and 10's Jaden Jagtiani shares the story of her stellar seasons. I don't like being bored. <laughs> I don't know how to be bored. Inland Lakes graduate Natalie Wandry's high school sports career was anything but boring. Her volleyball team made the state finals in her junior year. I don't think I will ever have an experience like it. That team was probably the closest, like, close-knit team I've ever been on. Coming off of that state championship run, we didn't win, but we, we got runner-up, so I count it. <laughs> um, came off of that, and then our immediately our goal was we want to get back to Kellogg Arena. And while the Bulldogs came up a win short of making it to the final weekend, she finished second in school history for kills in a season. Our goal was we want to get back to Kellogg Arena. That was a great team, great atmosphere. We were bonded all together, good team chemistry. And she rolled right from there into an incredibly productive season for the Inland Lakes Hoops team. It was a great season for basketball. Ended up being top scorer in the entire school's history, which was not on the radar at all. I just wanted to be in the thousand point club. That was always the goal from when I was like five years old. Her efforts on the hardwood earned her a first team all state selection. And just when many seniors start to wind down as they near the end of their high school careers, Wandry was just ramping up her athletic endeavors. Throughout the season, I was, I was constantly up at the field if I wanted more reps. I was up at the track if I needed more throws. She was a key bat in the middle of a fearsome Bulldog softball lineup. She hit 24 home runs, which is the fifth most in a single season in state history. Last year, I only had 15, and so like that wasn't, that wasn't on my radar at all. But then I started getting closer, and my mom was like, you're, you're getting close, and I was like, okay. <laughs> but she had to put the bat down during districts in order to compete for state titles in track and field. First event I did was shot put right away through PR crazy. Never expected to do that. An effort that was good enough to earn her a state championship, even if the distance still bothers her a bit. I wanted to hit 40. I was four inches off, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> and immediately after running with her teammates in a relay, she was back in the cage, 
launching the discus nearly 129 feet, taking home a second state title. One of the coaches is actually, um, his motto is, don't be average. <laughs> so we're not allowed to be average, which means we have to be better than average. Wandry earned all state honors in all four sports in back-to-back -back seasons, far from average. I definitely did not envision everything that I've done. Her toughest challenge all year, deciding what to pursue playing in college. I actually picked out of a bowl, like I put each sport on a piece of paper, put them in a bowl, swirled them around, picked out two, and was like, okay, I'm gonna try and get recruited in these two sports. Which led her to Lindsey Wilson College in Kentucky, where she will be able to play softball and volleyball, while also double majoring. I'm, I'm super excited for my future, and I can't wait to get started. Reporting in Indian River, Jaden Jagtiani, 9 and 10 sports.